What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Play Spyro: You're the Dragon Part Three. We are here in Evening Lake, and we are going to. Uh, we're at the beginning of Evening Lake. You can see the Whirly Gig right over here. And just like all the other, uh, the Evening Lake is the third home world. And just like all the other home worlds, I'm going to go and uh, clear out all the treasure up until the point in which uh, where I will, uh, you know, until I get to the first level, and then do two levels, and you know, it's. Pretty much, is it, pretty much the same thing that I've, that I've been doing uh, this whole time. And it would seem like there's a, an underwater portal here, so that may mean that there's a water level around here, but you can see how much water there is. Oh, two of them, huh? Three potential. I think I know where that, what this ship is. That may be another level. And because there's so much... Uh, uh, water here, you can see that there is uh, quite a bit of treasure down here, so it's very easy to lose all of the, tre uh, you know, a lot of treasure here. You can see I've uh, m missed some back there. I want to come up here really quickly and see what's here. Huh. Well, I not, I'm not sure. This may be the first level. Uh, well, let me. Let me make sure. Uh, it, it doesn't really matter. I could go ahead and do uh, free Bentley and then backtrack and go ahead and get all of his stuff out, out of the way so that I would already have him in case the first level or the first set of levels. Uh, yeah, I guess it is because you, this one's a little bit, this one's closer than that portal over there and it's closer than any other portal. So we'll go ahead and free Bentley, do his, his level, and then I'll backtrack a little bit to uh, do his levels as well. One thousand gems should be fine. Uh, this this late in the game. Where are you getting all this money, Spyro? <laughs> it's not just lying around on the ground, is it? Uh, is it? Ah, what do I care? It's mine now. All right. As always, uh, the freed character will. Beat up money bags. So that's uh, Bentley the Yeti, and as I said, we'll go ahead and do his level anyway, because we have to, to be able to play a sim. So, uh, you can see Bentley's outpost. And, huh, didn't say I had any treasure there. That ain't a glitch. You can see there's uh, 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 Bentley's brother right over there, and you can see some of the moves that he has. He has a where he will swing his club at like a shield. You cannot, you can only, you can only move in a circle while he's doing this. A uh, circle smashes the. This is square. You can jump. You can only jump only so high, and it's not that useful. And you can look first person with the triangle button. some pretty big rhinox around here and you can uh, thankfully you can move while while you are 
smashing, so it makes it a little bit easier, uh, you know, running into into these Rhinox. And because Bentley is so big, he can easily knock out those chests that would be difficult to uh, that you'd need a, a rocket or the supercharge to to do his uh, Spyro. And they, those are what is on top of these totem poles. That type of uh, treasure chest. You can see there's quite a few of them, actually. And you notice the ice wall there. All you have to do is just uh, smash that as well. So I probably want to say something here. You use your spin move to deflect the snowball into the gong. I bet we can make the roof cave in. Alright, so all I have to do is just deflect the snowball pretty easily and that makes the roof cave in and then you can run across and there's a dragon egg right here you just have to get into position sadly you do there is a set spot for these for, for these dragon eggs that you have to get into to be able to uh, use them you can't just walk up to one like with the uh, dragons frozen in ice from McDonald's, I guess that's a skill point uh, uh, unlike the dragons from Spyro 1, I'm sure he'll, I'm sure that's exactly what, uh, I forgot to look at his name, I believe his name is Bartholomew, but I, I may be, I may be wrong, I'll have to, to uh, take another look at, at his name. Just to make sure. Uh, but yeah, you know, pretty easy, pretty simple. You don't have to do a whole lot. The game pretty much does everything for you as long as you can get the timing right for the uh, for the def for the deflection. It's pretty simple after that. And I believe, yeah, as I say, I believe you can even jump and uh, s smash your club as well. So that uh, that's uh, that's useful, but not quite as useful as just using it using it while on the ground. But if you need that extra little bit of height, uh, it's definitely pretty useful. And so, of course, with these Rhinox, you want to kill them. You, there's nothing to deflect. You can't, de you know, there's, uh, there, you can't deflect their, their torches. So all, all you can do is just uh, try to swing your club faster than he's swinging his torch. That's uh, you just get the timing down right for that, and it's pretty simple. After that. I'm sure he'll want to deflect another snowball here, so I'll get into position. And maybe not, maybe I can just, maybe you, well, I guess I'm going to have to talk to him if I can. Okay, so yes, his name is Bartholomew. Now, of course, you don't want to do it too early, uh, if you do happen to do the uh, the the shield too early, you know you that will kind of mess up your timing, and you will uh, possibly fail the challenge and have to start over again. I think I can push this out of the way. Yeah, just walk into it like most games, uh, and this is a good one for pushing it off. So there you go. quite a bit to do in this area and I'm sure the uh, the the ledge back there in the other section will loop you know either from this room or in the next set of rooms that will loop around and will and you'll be able to get up there like that if that walkway over there doesn't let me do it I'll, I'll walk over there and see I want to go ahead and knock this right knock out before I uh, hit the move the box anyway but it's not, a, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and uh, get this kind of stuff out of the way first before we continue on through the level, just in case this is where the level ends. And I, I really don't remember too much about this this particular level at all, really. So I'm actually surprised I'm doing as uh, good as I am, but it's a pretty straightforward linear level. It's not too difficult. Yeah, so you can just walk right up to them and uh, smash them with your club if you want to. But you do want to be careful because they they seem to can uh, if they 
already have their snowballs ready, the seals seem to be able to throw them as soon as they see you, rather than uh, having to wait, as uh, some and some enemies would have. Like, these projectile throwing enemies usually have to wait uh, like that, but sadly these seals don't seem to do that. But you can just see how how long uh, sparks can reach there. Uh, you know that was the the second gem of the three that was sitting right there beside the beside that wall. Pretty pretty uh, long ways from where I was. You know from where that where that gym was so uh, that that just really shows off how far sparks can reach and I'll go ahead and uh, collect all the treasure around here really quickly and if I haven't missed anything this should be it and then I'll uh, talk to Bartholomew again and it seems to be the end it seems to be the end of the level so uh, yep 600 pieces of treasure wow So there should be three eggs and 600 pieces of treasure. So pretty straightforward, easy level. It's a lot easier than uh, Sergeant Bird's outpost anyway. And then there's the exit portal. And so now we can play as Bentley. And I, as I said, I will go back to uh, the previous level. See which level is that? The panda level, and I will do Bentley's task there since I'm all, since I'm right here. And now, of course, you can. Okay, so the rocket is what will take us to the next area. I thought I thought that was what we could uh, jump on to go to the next uh, to go back, but I forgot. Uh, or I, I thought that was the thing that would take us back to a midday garden, but I forgot. It's the whirly gig that will do that. So let me see, I don't think I've missed anything, any other Bentley levels, other than just the Panda level. Uh, but I can check really quickly by looking at the Atlas, just to make sure. Okay. So Midday Garden, just Bamboo Terrace. Alright, that's good, that's, that's, uh, tells me what I need to know. So all we need to do is just head back to uh, head to Bamboo Terrace, do Bentley's challenge there, as I said. Then we'll go from there. I'll, uh, depending on how long Bentley's challenge here takes, I'm not sure. I don't remember if it's uh, a very long challenge or not. But if it's not too long and difficult, and it doesn't take too long, uh, it sh I should be able to do at least one more level because uh, that will give me the two levels that I usually do plus a portion of Bamboo Terrace. Uh, but anyway, so the, let's see, is that gate open good? So now we can just, you can just bypass a uh, large portion of the level and just head to uh, the Bentley's area. I don't actually remember where that was. Let me see. I believe it was. Oh, wow. Yeah, you have to be careful. The uh, rocket throw is a. They're pretty accurate. Uh, most of the, most of the time, sometimes they can be a little inaccurate, like then. But most most of the time, they're uh, pretty accurate, and you want to be very careful whenever you're around them. So now we're going to Bentley's area. So pretty much, uh, just you know, th this I believe will be pretty straightforward. You know, you see you see the boulders here that will have uh, things in them, just like the snow, the snow did. Uh, I guess not. Maybe the rhinox are supposed to roll them at you, but there are boulders just like with Bentley's outpost. 
here, you know, the big Rhinox. Except these shouldn't be able to hit you. I believe you should be able to hit these faster than uh, they, they will be able to hit you. And you can see the uh, swing is pretty pretty wide, so you shouldn't have to worry too much about that. Now, now this can be kind of difficult. Uh, well, the TNT barrels can be anyway. The because you'll have to hit the the TNT barrel. You'll have to miss the TNT barrels, but hit the boulder so they don't hit you. And there are very few sparks areas or uh, butterflies or I guess fodder around here so you have to be very careful and there's no way to dodge the boulders once they're coming at you and then you see they add the jumping boulders there which are a pain but I believe we can bypass something here it kind of looks like we can bypass them and maybe not yep so that's good if you're ha if you have trouble with the uh, bouncing boulders, uh, you can you know you can go around through there. If, but I'm not sure. I don't think the boulders will continuously uh, respawn. But I may be wrong. I haven't played this particular level or this particular portion of this level in quite a while, so I'm not 100% uh, familiar with the way the level, uh, way the boulders work. It, it makes sense for them to continuously respawn just to add to the difficulty, but I'm not, again, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, wow. Yeah, not, not paying attention. Oh, come on. So I guess you can, so, let me see. I guess they do, because the TNT shouldn't have been able to come if, uh, if uh, they didn't continue to spawn early, or at least, yeah, I guess because they would continue to spawn, wouldn't they? That's good, that's good. Thankfully, I didn't miss anything in the uh, main level or here in Bentley's level, or Bentley's portion of the level, so now that's all, that should be all the dragon eggs, yep. So now we can exit the area and then exit the level. And we'll have everything. I don't think there's any fodder around here, but I can pick up some in uh, Midday Gardens. You know, there's a bunch hanging around Midday Gardens, so that shouldn't be uh, too much trouble, unless it's not along the way. But I think, uh, let me see, where's the whirly gig at? I think I can take a shortcut here and get back to the whirly gig a lot faster. Again, go to Evening Lake, and I'll just pick one of those two portals that were underneath the water there, and uh, go to go to one. I don't really, really remember which uh, which levels those were. I, I know one is kind of difficult, but I don't remember if it's that one there or if it's the other one to go to the. Uh, a, there's, okay, so the ship is a portal. That's a portal, and there's a portal right there. Huh, I wonder if this would be Charmed Ridge. I wonder if this would be considered closer. Ah, I guess, I guess I'll go in here. I, I don't remember this level, so this could potentially be pretty bad. here like the uh, like the same challenge from uh, Spyro 2 and sadly there's a challenge like that here which makes this kind of difficult and will take a little little while 
to complete as well as I believe another challenge here that's kind of difficult but uh, anyways you can see there's Rhinox um, you know more more magic users like from uh, the Just like in the Magic Crafters world, from the first Spyro, so I think I, I don't think there's anything over there because that sparkle there is treasure over there. And so you can see what the Cat Wizards were doing back there. They were moving. Uh, they were moving uh, bits of the background, as well as changing the Rhinox from little Rhinox to big Rhinox. So pretty much, you know, reusing those. Uh, types of things from uh, from Spyro One, and so I guess you have to. I, I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking at that uh, this thing. So it's either a uh, a rocket, a super flame, or a supercharge. It's around here somewhere. So I guess you do have to be careful of that pillar that will, that can come down and crush you. Kind of looks like a chess, uh, a rook chess piece. He'll probably open these stairs. Well, Spyro, today is your lucky day. The wizards and I have worked out a little deal. If you simply pay a small toll, they'll be happy to raise these steps and let you pass. Six hundred. You have chosen wisely, Spyro. I'll tell the wizards to raise the steps immediately. And uh, best of luck rescuing that princess. Or whatever it is you're up to. Alright, so let me see. Aha. I was going to say, I, I don't think the... I believe it's timed. Uh, you still have to... Ah. You have to be pretty fast to get up there. You can't go on the on what looks like the handrail there you, can, you can't climb up it the only way you can get up there is uh, just by get, trying to get you know getting the timing right I'm not sure I don't think there's a way you can hurt those wizards leads right now I believe that if there is a super flame ability here that's that's the only way you can hurt the wizards ah. See, I think that water will is dangerous yeah so we there's nothing down there. Now, one of these puzzles. So run towards the little one, and then you can just jump on top of this one. There is no time to lose. Prince Azrael and his cat armies are about to steal our poor princess. Aha, okay, so there's steps. Don't think we can get over there just yet. Could probably fly over here. Well, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll go ahead and get uh, knock this out of the way, or get this out of the way really quickly. And I believe this will loop around. What the? Yeah, let's fix the set. What the? That sucked. Couldn't figure out what, what in the world was going on. So without sparks, you obviously want to be very careful about projectile throwing enemies. And we'll go ahead and jump in here really quickly. I'm not sure if this is the sea throwing puzzle or not. Oh, crap, it is. According to legends, there's a golden goose at the top of this here mountain. I want to be the first person to the top so I can grab it. I just bought some Insta Sprout Ultra Super Rogue Seed. Alright, so uh, this is a little bit different from the Professor Seeds from Spyro 2. Uh, if you notice, there were two different colors. I don't want to go ahead and grab those shows really quickly, but you notice there's two colors and two actually two different types of seeds. A uh, yellow one, which I believe is the small... 
Okay, so that's a flower, so that's the, so that's the smaller one. And I believe this one is a... If I'm not mistaken, it may be a mushroom that, that you can bounce on. Yep. Alright, so obviously you want to you know, you jump on the flower because that's shorter. And then you... You can uh, jump on the, the... The mushroom to... Uh, get yourself across to over here. And to, I believe all you have to do is flame them and then the seeds will come back out just like the seeds from... Spyro too. Uh, but now, you know, of course, these are these are just the easy ones. It, they will get it'll, uh, it'll get a lot harder as we go along, just like with Spyro two, and uh, actually a little bit more than Spyro two because there are uh, there will be different there won't be different types of seeds, but you'll have to. I believe there will be more seeds than just these three. I'm not sure if you can. Uh, so I don't think you can charge into them too make them disappear and you definitely want to be very careful because I believe you can actually lose seeds if I'm not mistaken and you'll have to start the entire challenge over again or you'll have to go to the halfway point there will be a halfway point where I believe uh, Jack will give you more more seeds kind of like with the professor and uh, you will ha you'll either get sent back there or depending on how far you are in the level Not sure if we can head over there just yet, but I'll go ahead and knock that out real quickly. It kind of looks like uh, an area where treasure may be. And so, of course, you know, uh, as the distances and different things like that will make this a little bit more difficult. So, yeah, you can see this is. So I'm gonna have to do later, but you can see how we got a seed for doing this. So we'll put this over there in the corner, and I'll sw uh, swap sides. And that should be, it, and that should get me up, up there. Make sure you grab this seed. If there are multiple seeds like this, you you want to make sure that you don't lose any, just in case you have to uh, uh, throw any, you know, uh, flame something to get rid of it, so that you can come back down. Some something like this, or you know, uh, This is kind of the halfway point, and this is where things are going to get a lot harder. And uh, I don't think you've been doing great so far. Why don't you take two more seats? So two mushroom seeds. Uh, let me see. I don't think. Uh, well, there's. I don't think there's any way to go down there and get that. Uh, to get the red seed, but you can see here there's a bunch of the or the, the the flower seeds from down below. You can see there's a bunch of mushrooms, and uh, this is where it can get kind of difficult because you're going to have to, especially trying to jump on these mushrooms. If you hit the jump button, it I do not believe it will propel you up any higher. At least it doesn't seem like it, it's doing that for me. It it may be, and I just uh, not, you know aren't realizing it. If I can even get up here, that's good. Yeah, I don't. I don't think the jump button is doing anything for me. So you do have to be careful in a situation like this, where the mushroom doesn't seem to be doing uh, doing a whole lot to help you get up there. But maybe it is. I I, I, I don't know. To be uh, totally honest. All right. So we'll let me see. This is probably okay. So this is where the mushroom will go. We'll, uh, we'll get the mushroom. I'll get this treasure here really quickly. There's there's one mushroom. Uh, we'll get the flower, and that will act. 
because they I think it's gonna act as a way for us to get up up there but I don't know why you would need to do well uh, I'm sure it'll work out kicks in. See, there's no way for us to get across here. The flower wouldn't be able to get us up there by itself. And I couldn't fly across with just one mushroom. I'll give that a trial. I'll, tr I'll use this mushroom here in the back that uh, doesn't seem to be very useful. Uh, you know, it, it is it is useful, but it I'm not sure if I, if, uh, I think a flower may work just as well. At least I hope it will. Yep, just barely, but it it did work. And then I can just. Just glide over here to this mushroom. You you do have to kind of be careful and make sure you hit the hover uh, button a little bit sooner than you normally would in a situation like that, just to, to be able to make make sure that you make it across. Uh, or at least be able to make sure that you hit the mushroom. Ah crap! And see there you go. So uh, that's why that's why I said you have to make sure that you hit the the hover button. Uh, I was hoping I would be be just a little bit high enough, but you have to hit the other button anyway. Okay, and there we go. So, at last, I found the legendary golden goose. You can have another one of its eggs for a souvenir. So, not too difficult. It's the last one can kind of can kind of trip you up, I guess. Uh, that would probably be the worst thing, you know, because they they seem like they give you enough or you know the right type of seeds, and they and they usually do in most situations. I want to see if I can just get down here without. Uh, you know, they, they seem, they want you to, to believe that the seeds that they give you for each section will work without any tr any problems. And, you know, in, in the last set of seeds case, that doesn't work, so you, and you have to come back to uh, get that one mushroom on the end that doesn't do anybody any good, and do what, do what I just did. And so, you know, for most people, and for me, I, I can remember the first time I played, I spent nearly an hour on this particular challenge just because I couldn't figure uh, figure out how to make the the flower work. Because you know I was thinking, well, they gave they gave me the flower, so I'm sp supposed to use the flower. You know, I'm not supposed to use anything else. It never occurred to me back then uh, to grab the grab the mushroom to bounce myself up, and even then that doesn't seem to help that much. Uh, but if you notice what I just what I was doing just, just there, that will that will slow your descent if you push if you push back on the directional button pad or the uh, control stick. If you pull the control stick back or push back on the D-pad, that will slow your that will slow your descent down. It's not the best thing in the world, uh, so I'll, I don't use it ever, uh, and I don't know of a lot of people that actually do use it. But. It's, uh, you know, for if you have a big enough landing, it will slow your descent. Uh, and I'll try to show it off here really quickly. Uh, let's see, just pull back on it. 
and it, it will start to slow you down before he, before he does this animation, but you can see just how uh, inaccurate it is and uh, how all over the place you kind of are with it, so it, it's not that useful to be honest. Not sure why the music cut me in and out, but maybe that's just something that I, I could bug with the game or something. Uh, but anyway, so I'm... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, be very careful there. I don't want to uh, head back this way. Uh, so thankfully I was able to get that challenge done fairly quickly. You know, a challenge like that does take time. You know, there's not a whole lot you can really do to speed it up, to be honest. So that piece of treasure over there. Uh, you know, uh, thankfully it didn't take me that long to figure out. <sighs> really. Thankfully it didn't take me very long to figure out how to do the partic that particular challenge, so it uh, went by you know, pretty quickly. I didn't get tripped up by the mushroom section for too long. So, I mean, we'll just be careful here. I don't think we can... Obviously, charging the rocks aren't going to do anything. I believe you can just get go in between the rocks. And that will help. And that will... I'm sure she was going to tell me to flame him to open the drawbridge, but... We already know what she's going to pretty much say, you know, she's going to complain about the princess being captured and uh, probably open the drawbridge or, some, some, or something to that effect. And we'll start a lot setting off these bottles. There's a cat wizard up on top of the tower there that is keeping the door shut, and so you know, we're going to have to go up there and get him to be able to unlock the door for us, but I want to go ahead and grab this treasure really quickly. Quite a bit of treasure. And if you notice, there's a bunch of treasure up on top of the castle as well, so we'll have to get that. So, as that, you can see the see. There's a, a, a character portal up there. I'm not exactly sure how we get that. Probably fly over to it, but I'm not. It's you know I'm not going to uh, waste a life to potentially get two lives for no reason. Sergeant Bird. I wonder what his challenge will be. I don't think it's too difficult, but I don't remember exactly. So, as usual, make sure there's no treasure hidden around here. And we'll just go up here and talk to her. Where have you been, James? We were supposed to meet at the temple an hour ago. And don't give me that old matters of national security line again. I guess it doesn't matter, though. The whole temple is full of nasty cat witches anyway. We'll just have to call up our date. That is, unless you want to battle the witches. All righty. So let me see. Uh, so all you have to do, I believe, is just shoot at them. Of course, they can't hit you in the air. You can see them uh, charge towards you. And uh, your rockets don't seem to do a very good job of homing in on them unless they are flying right towards you. And even then, it's not exactly accurate. So I see those rocket launchers aren't just for 
show after all. Well, I just hope your accuracy is better than your punctuality, because there are still a lot more witches in the temple. Uh, me with no sparks. That's never good, but I can. I believe I can hit get to them a little bit easier. You can see there's ten now instead of five, which is never good, especially if you lose track of some of them and they do some stuff, something like that. I'm not sure if we have to s start all the way over again or not. Uh, let's talk to her anyway. Okay, so she's just complaining about the same thing again. Okay, so we're gonna have to do the entire thing over again. Well, that stinks. I was hoping we wouldn't have to do that, but I believe there's a pattern to the way the witches were charged at you. I just don't really remember exactly which way the pattern is. I don't think they'll attack you from the rear at all. They have to be. What the, oh. I believe they have to be in your camera shot. Uh, you know, you have, you have to be looking at them to for them to charge at you. So that takes away the the ability of a of having to watch your rear all the time is, is what I was afraid of. Uh, so all you have to do is just try to keep as few witches in your line of sight as possible, and just shoot at all the ones that. Uh, appear to be charging in your direction. Of course the rockets aren't go aren't going to um, magically go straight for the witches, you know, they they don't see they're not quite that accurate. I must have been chief. I am impressed. There are still a few witches left though, and this time they mean business. They even turn the floor into deadly blue ooze. Oh be careful, okay? <laughs> so I guess if you use the floor, uh, this would be a problem. I didn't until the last Set of uh, oh great! Now they shoot crap at you. Oh boy! I have to start all this over again. I'm sure. Okay, let me see. Yep. Oh great! Well, uh, kind of remember the pattern now. Thinks they. The, the rockets reload uh, too slow, and I'm already damaged. Oh wait, there's another witch right here. I thought, there, I thought that was it. There she is. Let's see. Come on. Where did she go? There we are. Crap. I would suggest staying up higher because you have a, a better chance, especially if, if one, because the witches will have to come up towards you, towards you, and that will give the rockets time to uh, hit them. So the higher you go, the better the better chance you'll actually have of hitting them, unless they, you know, I wouldn't suggest going right out of right out of the gate, uh, being being high, uh, ah, crap, because uh, they will. They will immediately go up, go up to match your 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 height level. But you can see pretty much what you have to do: just keep moving up and down. Of course, I'm down to one sparks, and these witches will shoot at me now. But uh, just keep you know keep moving up and down. That, that seems to help a lot. Just uh, net. I, I guess you can shoot shoot their uh, fireballs. But they seem to be able to shoot shoot it from any direction now. Sadly, there's not a fastball button. Uh, ah, crap. Wow, come on. <coughs> uh, yeah, sadly, there doesn't seem to be a fastball button, so that's gonna that makes this a little bit more difficult. Let's see. Yeah, there's no way to fall any faster than what you already do. Oh, really? I wonder if there's a skill point involved with shooting out all these windows. Yep. So there you go. There's a skill point for you. <sighs> oh. Huh. Oh, okay. That's 
that's right. Oh, that's actually a good idea to save if you're... Ah, crap. I wonder if they'll give it, give it to me again. But I can save it till the... Till the third set of cat wish... Cat witches. So you can... You can hit some... As soon as they come out. At least one, the first one anyway. So that makes it a little bit easier. But the problem is trying to stay up in the air as well as uh, shoot. Because you have to keep sh switching from the X button to the circle button and then back again. That's a little bit better. But remember, these witches will shoot, but you can shoot their, their fireballs back at them. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not 100% sure if they will actually shoot at you from the, from the rear. I don't think so. I believe it's just like, a, it's just like charging you. They will only do it if, if you're, if, if they're in, you know, in, on the screen. So that makes it a little bit easier. You just keep moving. That's the best thing I can suggest. It seems, it seems to be working for me anyway. Uh, never give them a clear target. Save the skill point for now if you have trouble with the with the other witches. And there you go. You did it, James. I knew you weren't the leader of the Hummingbird Resistance Movement for nothing. Now we have the temple all to ourselves. But first, I have a present for you. Alrighty, uh, just give me a moment. You're not going to miss anything with this dragon egg. Alright, sorry about that. Anyway, so, this is walled off to us. There's no treasure in here, because uh, it, if one of these challenge portals, thankfully, it will not point out uh, the treasure finder thing with, with uh, sparks only works in the individual areas that, it's, that, uh, that have these, that have treasure in them, so say the oh great so say the uh uh what do you call it oh uh, say, say there's three challenge you know uh, the, the main area and three like cloud temples I would not have been able uh the main area and cloud temples would not have uh said there was any treasure around. Where'd that thing go? I don't even remember. I wasn't even, well, I really wasn't paying attention. I've, I forgot this, 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 that this level is a pain to, to backtrack through. Uh, man, I lost my train of thought, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, if there was, since there was no treasure left in the main area, the, you know, the main area, it Sparks would not have moved, you know, pointed at all, and because, uh, and for each challenge area that you went to, he would either point out treasure or he wouldn't have, depending on whether there's treasure there or not. So, thankfully, that makes it makes tre you know looking for treasure in this game a little bit easier. So I guess this is how you would get over here if you needed to, and I'll go ahead and do it since I'm not going to kill myself doing it. And I gained two extra lives, so that's pretty that's pretty useful. Get back the lives that I believe I used in uh Sergeant Bird's area there. Now I have to find this stinking uh figure out a way to get up there for one thing. I wonder if he'll No, he won't come over here. I'm not, I, I guess I was thinking about Spyro 2 when I said there was, there had to be a, a uh, challenge, or a, a super, a supercharged portal or a, fi a uh, super flame portal, uh, not portal, but, uh, oh, what do you call it, area, I guess that's, that's the best thing that could be, er, yeah, portals.
uh, like in Spyro 2 with the spirit particles and all that. So I, that, that's, that's what I was thinking of when I said that. And since there's sadly none, none of those in the game, I'm not sure exactly how to get that uh, locked chest. egg really quickly. Oh cool. So I guess there I guess there is act actually is in, in these levels. Oh my bad. <laughs> so that should let me uh hit the cat wizards around here. I can immediately I can immediately blow that oh so I can blow it up instead of have to wait. Right, but I can climb up here and uh, get all these cat wizards that are that are around here. The ones that are up there, I can hit both hit both of them. And then I can hit both of well, at least one of you. And I can light that rock. So that ain't too bad. There's one more area that we, or one more cat wizard that we need to get. So that will stop these stairs moving so we can go up, up and down the stairs anytime we need to. And we'll get this. And maybe not, I can swear there's another cat wizard around there. I believe this is back here. Closed off area right over here. And so I have to fly across to get that one sadly. It's it's a shame that they make you backtrack all the way throughout the entire level, you know. It it it, it does kinda get annoying, you know. With most levels it's okay, but with a level like this it's got a lot of gliding and a lot of areas that are kind of hard to get to anyway, you know, it's kind of a pain to have to uh, do over and over. So I guess that made the, that's actually a pretty good shortcut. Let's see, oh yeah, no, I, know where I'm, I, know, I know what I'm missing, I have to go up on top of the This way. I don't even know why I went this way. It's, it's a good shortcut if you need to get back into this area, but it's a bad backtracking area if you need to uh, go all the way to an area, especially one that's it's kind of close there, but it's uh, a pain and uh, actually kind of dangerous to backtrack all the way to where the hole is for uh, for all of this. So. And I'll, you know, I'll, of course, uh, I was, I was going to say I'll show off where I was, but you can just kind of see where I, where I would have been up there, and it, so it, it's kind of, it is, it is very dangerous to fly from there to here, maybe, you know, it may have been okay, I may not have had any trouble whatsoever, but it's, uh, when you have so many different, uh, heights, that kind of stuff, it's kind of uh, difficult and, like I said, very dangerous to uh, climb up on something like, something like that. There's a cat wizard over there, I'm not even sure if I can hit him from, from where, where I would be at, but I could hit him, I wonder if I could hit him from here. Yeah, but I don't think that'll do anything. 
sure if that actually fixed that uh, giant chest piece or not, or made it any easier to get across to over there. No, not really. I guess it made it less dangerous because I'm not going to have to deal with a cat wizard, but. It, to be honest. So it would appear that I am missing some treasure. Oh, all good, good. And there should be all the eggs. Yep, so. We can hit exit level, and then I'll talk about the trivia for the two levels that I've done so far. And I'll go ahead and end the video here. I've done two levels and a piece of, a piece of bamboo terrace, so that's good enough. Honey Speedway. Definitely don't need to go there right now. But you can see most of these most of these levels are sadly underwater, so it kind of makes them a little bit difficult to get to. But you know, it is what it is. Yeah, but anyway, so we'll start with uh, Bentley's Outpost. We're just sitting here reading the names of the levels. Charmed Ridge is actually sp uh, level four, so. Eh. Kind of messed the level order there, but you know it doesn't really matter. I just hit whatever was closest to the beginning of the beginning of the level. Anyway, so uh, Bentley's Outpost is Bentley the Yeti's homeworld, set in a in giant icy mountains. Rhinox have taken over the outpost and driven Bentley's brother Bartholomew out to defeat them. You had to clear the, the ridge of Rhinox and help your little brother get back home. 600 pieces of treasure, 3 eggs, fodder is rabbits, enemies, torch carrying Rhinox and the seals, skill points pushing the crate that blocks the entrance to, to home over the cliff results in a skill point. So no trivia for this particular level, so we'll go to Charmed Ridge. Charmed Ridge is a realm in the evening lake world whose portal had broken down and needed at least 58 eggs to be reopened. 600 pieces of treasure, 6 eggs. Uh, fodder is lady bir ladybirds. Uh, skill points destroy all the cat windows. Sergeant Bird land on the impossible tower. Not sure where that is. Enemies. Cat Wizards, Rhinoc Archer, Spear Rhinoc, and then the Cat Witches. And let me see. Trivia. The design of this realm is similar to Alpine Ridge from Spire of the Dragon. At one point, there is a Cat Wizard messing with a giant tower that looks like a chess piece, which he will use to squash Spire if possible. There is also a set of stairs that has been flattened. Paying money bags will make them climbable. However, Cat Wizards will alternate between climb climbable in a flat, just like the green druids. The background, however, is based off of Town Square. The cat wizards can also make the Rhinox enemies bigger, similar th to the Dreamweavers' world, homeworld and Dark Passage. The, end of the only difference is that the Rhinox can't change shape in any way. Charmed Ridge is one of the only realms in the game where this, where its inhabitants are harassed by a different race of enemies. The cat wizards, in this case, although the Rhinox are the primary enemies throughout the game, their contribution to the invasion is not mentioned, but they still appear in the realm as spear and crossbow Rhinox. And, what I and in whatever way they are involved with the Cat Wizards is a mystery, but it may be possible that an alliance formed between them because the Wizards are also seen aiding some of the Rhinox via their magic, increasing their size. It, it's possible to fully complete the realm without paying money back by charge, jumping onto the back of a tower, and glide off to, off to where you obtain the egg containing Mo. From there, you can just simply enter the cave nearby. Hmm, so that's actually pretty useful if you wanted to save your treasure. Uh, but anyway, so that's all the trivia and everything for the levels I've done so far. So thank you for watching the challenge of the video. Is how many? Uh, oh, how many uh, butterflies did I collect? Uh, both the green and the regular butterflies uh, during this video. I think you're watching. Next time we will uh, go do some more levels. So uh, you know that's pretty much it. So until then, later everyone.